You were there for this, so few were. Your thoughts, observations, and takeaways, if you could, Senator. You know, I, this is my seventh or eighth, I'm not sure, um, inaugural, and everyone has been different. But mm -hmm. one, this has been among the most somber. Um, there, was, there were joyous moments, and certainly the poet was, I think, for many, many people that I talked to, the high point kind of of inspiration. But mainly it was just kind of a, phew, okay, we're turning the page. We needed to do that. Now let's get to work. And I thought that, that um, uh, President Biden, I, we can say that now, instead of um, President-elect Biden, but President Biden's speech was very workmanlike. It wasn't poetry. It was, let's get together. I'm here. I hear you. Um, and pretty much a lot of what he's been saying all along. And you know, and I know, Shep, that the mother's milk of um, communication is repetition. And that's really what we heard the president talk about. But I think there was a collective sigh of relief. I think that was bipartisan, that sigh of relief. And then there was an awareness that there's so much to do. As the president said in his inaugural speech, um, these are hugely challenging times. The world, of course, is watching. The United Kingdom's Prime Minister, Boris Johnson, has spoken a short time ago and given the great news that he believes that the incredibly bad situation with COVID-19 and that UK variant uh, has found its peak and may be able, may be coming down slightly. He also just said the United States and the United Kingdom have a fantastic common agenda as President Biden takes office. Our greatest challenge, well, there are many, but among our greatest challenges is the COVID, which is ravaging our nation. A few hit harder than your own home state of North Dakota. Y your thoughts on this transition from a sort of state-led hodgepodge approach to a more uh, national approach to tackling the virus and, and how well you think that the incoming administration will get cooperation from some certain governors across the land. You know, everybody needs to remember that how governors are going to be remembered during this pandemic is how well they do. And a lot of the governors have been very discouraged and it's bipartisan in terms of national leadership. And I expect that um, the team that Biden has a President Biden has assembled will be very, very aggressive in reaching out to the governors. What do you need? What makes sense in terms of a national strategy? What makes sense in terms of letting you guys make local decisions? And I think his commitment to um, engaging uh, the procurement act so that he can, in fact, get these vaccines um, in the hands of the governors, I think they're all going to very much appreciate that. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.